In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a CradlePoint SDK application. Hi, I'm Alex with CradlePoint. The CradlePoint SDK lets you build powerful applications that run on the router, providing edge compute and automation. In this video, you will learn how to create a new SDK application and configure app settings. You'll also learn how to build and install your app on a router. If you've not already set up the SDK samples, go check out the video's SDK setup for Windows or Mac. All right, let's get started. First, open a terminal in the SDK samples master folder. In Windows, you can right click in an empty space in the folder and select open in terminal. In Mac OS, you can right click on the folder itself and select services and then new terminal at folder. The CradlePoint SDK includes a make.py script that performs utility functions for the SDK. It uses command line arguments as commands. We're going to use the create command to create a new SDK application. First, you're going to need a name for your application. For this example, I'm going to call mine my underscore app. At the terminal, type python3 space make.py space create space my underscore app and hit enter. The create command creates a new SDK application package or folder using the name you provided. Let's go over to PyCharm and check out the new files. In PyCharm, find your new app folder and open it. The folders inside make up the framework of an SDK application. There are two Python files. One has your app's name. This is the main Python application. We'll come back to this one in a minute. The other is csclient.py. This is the CradlePoint Python module that lets you talk to the NCOS API on the router. Start.sh is a shell script that is run when your app starts. By default, it just runs your Python application, but there's other shell functions that you could do in this script. The package.ini file contains a number of settings for your app. Let's open it up and take a look. It starts with the name of your app here at the top. Then there is the UID field, which is a unique identifier for your app. You can leave this blank and it will be auto-generated when you build the application. Next, you can put yourself in as the vendor. In the notes field, you can put a short description of the application. This will show up on the tools page in NCM. The version major, version minor, and version patch are the three numbers that make up a version, such as 0 0.1.0. .0. You can set these to whatever you like. Next are three Boolean flags that tell the router when to start the app. Auto start will start the app when the app is loaded onto the router or the router is first powered on, a cold start. Restart will restart the app anytime it finishes or exits. Reboot will start the app anytime the router is rebooted, a warm start. And finally, there's the firmware major and firmware minor. These reflect the version of NCOS that the application was developed on. These are for reference only and don't have an effect on the application. And finally, the readme.txt. You can put the name of your app in here, the version, devices supported, external requirements, and a verbose explanation for other developers that are going to continue to work on your app. The only way you see this is by having the source code to the application. Now that we have the app settings configured, let's open the main app file and write some code. Mine's called myapp.py. Here at the top, there's a comment that you can update to reflect the purpose of your application. The next line imports the eventing CS client from CS client. This is the code that talks to the router. On the next line, we instantiate the eventing CS client class as CP, like CradlePoint, passing our app name as the only argument. This lets us use the name CP to easily talk to the router. Such as on the next line, we have a CP.log that says starting. This just lets us know when the app is starting up in the system logs. From here, you get to be creative and build whatever you like. You can control WAN interfaces, run speed tests, build geofences, you name it. There's a lot of samples included in the SDK. When you're ready to test your app, you can actually run it right here on your PC, and it will talk to the router that's configured in the SDK settings INI file over HTTP. To run your app in PyCharm, click the Run menu, then Run My App. In the output, you'll see Starting, and then it will finish and exit. Note that the cp.alert and cp.on functions do require the code to be running in NCOS. Other than those two functions, you can run the code right here on your PC, which makes it a lot easier to test and update code. When you're done developing and ready to fully test your app, you can use the make.py script to build and install the application onto your router. 
First, edit the SDK Settings INI file and set the app name to the name of your new app. Then, go to your terminal window in the SDK Samples master folder. Type python space make.py space build and hit enter, or if you're on a Mac like me, use python3. The build command will build your application into a .tar.gz file. This is the file that you can upload to NCM to assign to groups of devices. For now, we're going to install it on our developer mode router. At the same prompt, type python space make.py space install and enter. Python 3 for Mac users. This will install the application onto your developer mode router that's configured in the SDK settings INI. Let's check out the system logs on that router and see what's happening. We can see that the app is starting over and over. This is because it's finishing and we have our restart flag set to true, so it's restarting the application. Most apps are not designed to finish. There's usually a loop inside the app to keep it doing its job, but in case it crashes or something happens and it exits, the restart flag will start it back up. Now you know how to create a new SDK application, configure app settings, build the application, and install it on your router. For more ideas and code examples, check out the samples included in the SDK. Also check out our other developer videos and come chat with us in the developer forum at customer.cradlepoint.com. Thanks for watching.